how to draw Bohr-Rutherford diagrams, including an example of drawing the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of phosphorus. The first thing you need to do to draw a Bohr-Rutherford diagram is figure out how many protons and how many neutrons you have in your atom. Now this is going to be easy for you once you know how to do it, but the number of protons is the atomic number of the element. This is a replica of what you'd find on the periodic table. P is element number 15, so there are 15 protons in a phosphorus atom. The number of neutrons is going to be the atomic weight, which in this case is about 31, and you have to round it to the nearest whole number, 31, minus the number of protons that you have, in this case 15. That means there are 16 neutrons, and so you write 16N for neutrons, put a small circle around that, and this represents the nucleus of your phosphorus atom, protons and neutrons inside. The last and most important thing you have to do for a Bohr-Rutherford diagram is put electrons in electron shells. Now there is a small trick to doing this. The first thing you need to do is draw a circle around your nucleus and you can put up to two electrons in here. Now I need 15 so I definitely need these first two. One, two. And then I can draw a second circle and put up to eight electrons in that second circle. Now I need 15 and I only have two there so far so I definitely need eight more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have 10 electrons. That's still not enough, I need 15. So, I draw a third circle around and I can put up to eight electrons in here as well. But I don't need eight. I already have 10, so I only need five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now I like to spread my electrons around and then pair them up later, just as a matter of convention, but uh, you should talk to your teacher about how he or she wants them drawn. So, I now have 15 protons, I have 16 neutrons, that's 31 minus 15, and I have 15 electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, check. This is the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for phosphorus. One small note is that you can fit two in the first one, eight in the next one, eight in the next one after that, and then you can put them into a fourth shell. Now, once you get past element number 20, it becomes a little trickier to do. You probably won't be asked to draw Bohr-Rutherford for anything after number 20, but for now, I mean, take a look at the video that I made for Bohr-Rutherford diagrams for really, really big atoms if, uh, if you have to go past 20. That's all I'm saying. Good luck.